All right, flight time to commence. It's 2.45 in the morning and let's see if we have any snafus at this leg of the trip. So developments is that uh, as time goes on, sometimes the rules change and when you're in a COVID uh, pandemic, sometimes entry requirements change. And right now, it looks like on arrival to Romania, I may have to isolate or I don't know what, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I don't know if I'll be able to go. I may have to just fly home here from Cyprus and I hope that's not the case, but we'll see. So as it stands right now, I should be able to go. The US-Romanian website says that if you're fully vaccinated, you do not need to self-isolate, but there's not exactly a lot of options on a Romanian website that won't translate on Google Chrome or Safari, unfortunately. And just kind of having to copy and paste what you can to get translated. There's some things that you can't copy paste and just kind of making a guess and hoping it works. I got my entry form and just cross our fingers and hope that they let us in without a hitch. All right, we made it to Athens. A uh, little tip here. It seems like even the countries that you are transiting through want a passenger locator form, which you have to fill out online in order to make that work. So they were able to let me through with the one we made for Romania, but oh boy, this is, this is super stressful just trying to go from country to country. I don't know that I would have done this if I had known that this was all required. It doesn't say that on the embassy websites. But that's the way it is. So things are going forward. Next stop, uh, Bucharest. Super full flight, so I'm double next. <laughs> All right, we had no problem getting in. They even had that piece of paper right there for us to fill out before we went in. We didn't even have to have it uh, pre-filled out for a possible 14-day quarantine. The airport in Cyprus was wrong, thank goodness for that. So now I'm gonna go collect my bag, check back in, and now I can finally relax uh, for this last stretch to Bayamare. All right, we made it through the last check-in and we're walking to the gate. I have four hours here to kind of chill and relax until a Bayamari flight takes off. And I think I'm just gonna put my feet up and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do something on the computer, a little scrap looking. See what I feel like. Bună ziua, venit. What's the mess? Very back of the plane. We got a window seat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bayamare, our destination where the outside temperature is 26 degrees centigrade. I'm in Bayamare. And my driver is here now, we're 15 early, so we're gonna get to Savantia early. What a day.
what an insane day this has been. After all the stress of everything this morning and worrying that the rules change and I would have to self-quarantine for 14 days, here I am walking down downtown Sapancha, just a super comfortably rural place. There's no Uber, there's no bus. It's you and your feet getting to the restaurant. Let's see what we find. that they're ringing the bells at the top of the hour. We're playing some Russian roulette tonight, so there's no English spoken here, which I kind of like. My phone doesn't work, which it, the SIM card here, for whatever reason, will not pick up. So I basically put my finger on something on the menu, and that's what we're gonna get. So I have no idea what it is. Let's see what happens. This is what we ended up with. I thought I was done with the chips in Cyprus, but I guess not. Let's see what the Romanian chips taste like. Just finished dinner, slowly walking back to the hotel. And you know what? I am so happy right now. Have a nice full belly. <clears throat> and I have the sound of this amazing river to my right here. I've got chickens clucking all over the place. And the nerd in me really likes the chainsaw that's going off too. I'm just so happy right now. All the noises, so pretty here, it's so green. It's not hot, it's not humid. Uh, it's a nice break from the weather in Cyprus, I gotta admit. Now, we're gonna go ahead and head on home and uh, get some rest for tomorrow.